find ball screws in almost any kind of industry. Uh, it basically takes rotary motion, translates it into linear motion. So you see it in uh, machine tools, you see it in aerospace and defense and flight controls, and all sorts of in industries in between. You'll receive the, a ball screw in two different ways. One, as a complete assembly, whereas you send us the specs and we can produce whatever you want per your specifications. Otherwise, you'll get components. And again, we sell components where you'll get a ball screw and a ball nut. It has all the major components of a ball nut, as you can see, the ball nut body itself. You've got the return tube system, which in this case is an external tube. Uh, what this one's shipped on is it's called a shipping arbor, and the arbor is con constrained inside the ball nut. When a customer receives a ball screw, as in components, they'll receive a screw and a nut. The way to install this would be one, first determine which way you want it on the screw. So I'm going to decide to put it on with the threaded end going toward the drive journal. So what I'll want to do is one, take off the shipping arbor, remove the clamp, slide it over the end machining, and spin the nut on while maintaining pressure on the shipping arbor so there's not a gap. So that way the ball won't fall out. And then once you remove that, your ball screw is ready to go. Not very uncommon that the ball bearings will fall out. One possible solution is to send it back to Thompson and we can reload it here at the factory. Or you can do it in your facility on the screw itself. Basically decide which way you want to put it on. It's got no ball bearings on it. We still need to spin it on the screw. Make sure it's in alignment with the track and you can look through the holes and see. This ball screw has two circuits, one on top and one on bottom. And I'll show how we can load one but I separated an equal amount of count into two piles. So what I'm using is I'm using a punch, because this is a very large system, to feed the ball bearings into the nut. Now once I get the ball bearings into the cir circulation path on the screw, we'll have some extra ball bearings here. And what we want to do is load them onto the return tube that we had taken out. What we want to do is take some grease and capture the balls in the, in the return tube. So now what I can do is I can put the tubes together like this, take our hammer, tap that into place, throw our clamp on the system, and now what I've done is I've loaded one circuit and it's operating correctly. And you basically just want to repeat the process for the other circuit. We're continually updating our products, continually improving what we do and how we manufacture. We supply the profile rail. We supply the ball screw. We have the motor. We've got the know-how. We can do the whole system. And that's what Thompson brings to our customers.